And time now for some money news with Andrew Bell, BNN Bloomberg. Andrew, good morning. Good morning, George. Uh, forget the canary, Canada's trying to push the dragon out of the mine. It, yeah, Canada moving once again to limit Chinese involvement in critical minerals with a Canadian connection. So it's actually now taken things a step further, the federal government, and ordered three Chinese companies to actually sell off Canadian connected assets. Uh, uh, some of this involving lithium, of course, which is seen as such an important mineral because it can be used in electric vehicle batteries. So they're, they're stepping this up. These are three very small assets, not all of them in Canada, that Ottawa is saying must be sold. But China reacting with frustration. This is part of a drive by the West to try to wrest back control of processing and production of these, these important minerals, important metals. I wonder, though, has the, uh, has the horse bolted the stable? Because China has built up its dominance over decades in these industries. We've kind of let manufacturing wither here in the Western world. Correct. Uh, Jerome Powell and the Fed and the states raising rates, signaling more to come. What's the effect on stocks? The stocks were down yesterday and they're suffering again today. Jerome Powell indicating he's still nowhere near done with raising interest rates and in fact borrowing costs might go even higher than expected. Not a huge sell-off. I saw Toronto down today down around 120 points. Oil though down as well, almost two dollars. So no joy from Jay Powell, the US central banker yesterday. He is still not satisfied with the level of inflation. Yeah. And the Brits Dropping the rate biggest biggest in 30 years. Yeah, it's it's just incredible how their economy is going through this doubly painful adjustment post COVID. Right. Well, in fact, triply, um, Putin's attack on Ukraine, distorting resource markets, and then of course Brexit. Yeah, Richie Sunak. Good luck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks very much, Thank Andrew. <laughs> thanks, George.